we're not afraid of grumps in Mexico because everybody <laughs> doesn't take it that personally. Some someone is like, and you're like, okay, I don't care. You're an established name in Mexico, and now you're stepping into Hollywood. How did getting involved in a man called Otto come about for you? I, I didn't look for it. You know, I, I haven't done a lot of auditions for an American audience and, and I did because I was in Spain and I had a lot of time and I said, well, let's let's give it a shot. And I talked with my managers. They started sending me materials and auditions. And this one, there was something about the material that was just so well written. The scenes, one was comedic, one was more dramatic. And I loved these two poles and extremities and they were fun. They were fun for an actor to play. So, well, I just threw it in and and I uh, started coming in and suddenly I was in the movie, surprisingly enough. <laughs> I brought you some food. Okay. okay, bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. The comedy and the drama, I was I actually have a question about that because it is something that is so prevalent in the movie. It is yeah. that blend of light and dark. Mm -hmm. What does it take for you as an actor to play with both of those and, and maintain each of them at the same time? Well, I think there's an organic transition between the two when you play. Sometimes you think there's not and you have to come up. But since life works like that as well, and we're always like kind of wavering between those two poles uh, somehow, um, the transition is where the story is told, you know, uh, uh, and these are like, the, so if, if it's well written, which in this case it is, that the script was really well written by David McGee, um, you have those transitions and it's just for you to find the thread and to kind of go with it and follow it emotionally and there's a logic behind it that you can totally work with and relate mm -hmm. internally. Mm -hmm. in and break, break, the car is stopped. Don't hit the car, break, break. I almost hit the car. It's all right. It's Hybrid. Well, Marisol is the heart of the film, I think. If um, if Otto is like a rain cloud, she is the sun, sort of trying mm. to burst through. And um, the name is in Spanish, is Sol, is oh, for sun. right there. Yes, yeah. of course, of course, yes. Yeah, so um, so true. tell me what it was like building that character when you sort of take her from the page to mm -hmm. your actual performance. What, did that, yeah. what was that process like? Well, it was fun because it was connecting to a very vivacious and, uh, and just um, overpouring energy. You know, um, she's uh, she's uh, expecting a child, and I heard I'm I've heard that mothers in that stage, even though you can become very tired, you are also preparing to have an extra doses of energy because you're gonna need it to raise that child. <laughs> and my sister was like, I don't know where it comes from, but you just get a, a extra strength. <laughs> so I think she's carrying all that. Um, I think, and and uh, it was fun to just play a character that is so that doesn't have filter in expressing closeness and that um, we could express that because that's some somehow a, something that we Latin Americans share and Mexicans have that is very just an immediacy with with closeness and, and a fearlessness of just saying what you're feeling, expressing it and trying to... We're not afraid of grumps in Mexico because everybody <laughs> doesn't take it that personally. Some someone is like, and you're like, okay, I don't care. What are you, you know? And um, and I think that quality was very fun to play with Marisol. It was it was liberating and nice. It's kind of the opposite as a Brit. We're very sort of reserved and, and, and cautious. Uh -huh. I felt like when I was watching the film, if if I was dealing with Otto, I probably would have run away and cried. Whereas Marisol <laughs> yes. is like persistently positive. Persistently, yeah. yeah. What could I learn? Do you think? How do I take Marisol into the rest of my life? We think it's really hard to let people into our lives or, or connect with us because we create all these barriers that are, you know, and, and they're there. But it's so easy somehow just to connect or let someone connect with us. And when we make it happen, and, and, and it doesn't have to be something big, just casually when someone is a little nice or something and you just like connect with that and you're like, it's easier than we think, you know? And, and, and actually we need more energy to keep people off than the energy that is needed to let people come into us. It's just easier. We d there's not so much resistance and we just find it suddenly that life is flowing easier when we do that. I'm not sure about this. It's gonna be very fun. How was it? You did a good job. You should pat yourself on the back. The film is a very 
ensemble film. It's a film about community and, and neighborly relations and all that kind of mm -hmm. thing. What was it like working with the cast? Did you have that, that kind of ensemble feel? We did. We did from the beginning, really from the first day with Mark, with Tom and Rita. Uh, Manuel, I've worked with him before in many projects. And they were just so... Um, you know, nurturing and so sweet with the with all the cast, and they made sure we felt very welcome. That that was a very, you know, easy. Um, it made it very easy for us to to relax and be at ease, so we could work, mm. you know, happy. We are obviously a a band of cinema lovers at Cinema World. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about going to the cinema? I love just the ritual of it, and and that we all love that ritual. That we all go into a room and sit in silence, but with others. We're all concentrating our eyes and minds and souls to the same focal point um, just to further understand who we are and to further connect with ourselves and, and to have more conscious of who we are as human beings. And when you think of all the me mechanical uh, things that is to make a film, I mean, it's like a clock. Everybody's doing a little thing just to give the same time and to give light to a, a moment in life. Um, and that's just beautiful to meet this world working so hard to make a moment in life be heightened so we can have an understanding and there's like a full circle. So it's just a beautiful ritual of, of learning. And that's pretty much all the time I've got. So thank oh, you so thank much you. for chatting to us. And I can't thank wait you. for everyone to see the film. You think you have to do everything on your own. Guess what? No one can. Even if the sun